Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Monday the 8th of January. The local media headlines today. Now, hands up if you ever thought that spending £35 million of public money on turning a former tin mine into a tourist attraction was a good idea. You could call it a cultural heritage playground experience if you like, but at the end of the day the Heartlands project at Poole was always based on Mickey Mouse numbers. That's probably a bit unfair to Mr Mouse, whose grasp of economics appears to be far superior to that of anyone at Cornwall Council. Have the council's auditors ever been so busy? Meanwhile, there are glum faces at County Hall for a different reason this morning. There is, however, now a vacancy for a chief executive at Surrey County Council. So who knows how this story might end. And welcome back to Cornish Stuff. But would the new publishers of this local news website please reveal who they are, particularly as we are now in an election year. How much would you spend on a sliding door? The BBC has a story about how Truro Cathedral thinks the idea is worth £200,000. It's to facilitate improved facilities for wheelchair users and will also require a ramp. Fundraisers say it's worth every penny and will also make life easier for those with prams and pushchairs. Pirate FM says the steps to Whipsidery Beach at Newquay will have to stay closed for months because of the collapsing cliffs. The Falmouth Packet said the Stone Circle at Dullow near Liscard is now protected by the Cornwall Heritage Trust. And finally, it's the first snow patrol of the year for Cornwall Live. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.